Hey guys, Kevin Chappelle back here to talk about synthetic oil versus regular oil. This is just my take on it. Take it for what it's worth. About why you'd want to go with a synthetic oil. The main advantage is longer drain interval times. So you can instead of going between three and four thousand miles in an oil change, you can go six to eight to even ten thousand depending on how you're driving your car, you know, if you're in a dusty environment or not, and uh, temperatures as well. Many people will do, you know, an 8,000 mile interval, but change filters at 4,000. I used to do that in a uh, turbocharged Dodge Stealth that I used to own, and it's just a little, you know, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> to do it that way. You're not buying uh, as much oil. You are buying filters, but you know the, the main expense is the oil. So that's the main advantage. Synthetic oils basically have a, a more consistent or homogeneous mixture of uh, oil particles. So when regular oil is refracted, they're aiming for a certain viscosity, a, a certain product to be pulled out of that refining process and the base stock which is uh, raw crude oil that comes in. What ends up happening is you've probably got, you know, I'm not sure the exact percentages, but let's say 90% oil at, at the weight viscosity that you want and you may have 10% of other stuff like naphtha tar, kerosene, gasoline, any of the other products that come out of the refining process. They try to purify that as much as possible, but they never get there 100%. So, with synthetics, the base stock is synthesized. It's not organic. It doesn't come out of a big barrel of crude oil. And it's all the same thing. So that consistency gives the oil better performing uh, performance uh, in your engine. So that's the real advantage to running synthetics. Some cases where you probably don't want to use it. First case is your car is under warranty. The manufacturer doesn't recommend synthetic oil and you're stuck with uh, oil change interval where you know every three to four thousand miles you have to change the oil no matter what. If you want to keep your warranty, you want to keep in good graces with uh, the manufacturer, you're going to end up wasting a lot of money if you put synthetic in your car. That's totally your decision. If you're the type of person that keeps your car for 200,000 miles, you buy it new and you've got that warranty, and you're okay spending $20, $30 more to run synthetic and, and change the oil at those smaller intervals, uh, go ahead. But for most people, you're going to trade the car in when it gets to 70,000 miles, 80,000 miles. You're not really that concerned about it. Stick with the regular oil. If your car's out of warranty, you definitely want to run synthetic. You're going to want to run a higher interval to save money. I typically recommend eight to ten thousand miles. Ten thousand is pushing it. If you're, you know, in a harsh environment or you're driving your car hard, I keep it more towards the eight thousand range. Um, there's been all kinds of misinformation out there about synthetics. A lot of it centers around the initial release of synthetic oils and the fact that a lot of older cars had rope seals in the crankshaft. The rope seals actually required the oil to kind of flow in there and expand the seal. And a rope seal sounds exactly like the name. It's basically uh, a rope and uh, it's got cotton and other fibers in there that expand when the oil gets in there. That creates a tight seal. Uh, one thing they did to fix that was the newer synthetics do have a um, an additive that actually swells seals like that and that um, that's been added 
And the other thing is most modern cars don't have rope seals anymore. They're typically, uh, you know, rubber seals and, and they don't require that. The other issue that happens from time to time, regular oil can cause varnish and build up. And that actually, when you have seals and, and gaskets that are wearing, that will actually help those seals to, to keep the oil in. Sometimes when you switch to synthetic oil, whether the additive package, the uh, detergents that are in the oil, or, or just the superior nature of the synthetic oil will actually wash that varnish away and then you'll start to get leaks. So you'll hear people who have a car that's typically over 100,000 miles, they've run regular oil the whole time, and they switch to synthetic and they've got puddles underneath their car in the driveway and um, they think that you know that was the wrong thing to do um, you know I would contend that you know switch to synthetic change the seals like you should anyway and you'll probably get a lot longer life out of your car um, I also recommend once you get an oil stick with it instead of mixing oils or you know uh, at every oil change try to put the same oil in and the only reason I say that is the manufacturers all have different additive packages different detergents and while they all meet a standard sort of like gasoline you know I find a brand I like I stick with it uh, it may be superstition but you know, I feel at least with oil, it's, it's better to be consistent.